Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am really excited to film this video today. I took a poll on my Instagram about what my next video should be because I'm kind of torn. I've got quite a few that I wanna do. Um, and it was pretty unequivocal that everyone wanted me to at least do number one, which was an updated planner system video um, and an explanation of how I use my planners and how they fit into my system. Um, and so I'm just gonna start out with that one and then I will uh, hopefully get around to filming the other two options um, next. So without further ado, I think it's best to start out with what I started the year using <laughs> because um, it, it, I really didn't change much. I basically just took, got rid of one of the um, books that I was using. So I started out the year with basically these still the same three. I had uh, my everyday carry. I was using my personal size Mia Cara in cloud. This is from Giulio Firenze. Um, and I started this, when I say everyday carry, for those of you who may be newer to the planner community, this was what I carried with me every day. It was attached to me at the hip. Everything and anything I needed would be in here. Um, and so that was, the biggest portion of my planning, so to speak, was my everyday carry. And then I had my Hobonichi Weeks regular. So don't look at this, I just had this guy. Um, this is a regular Hobonichi Weeks. I started it the first day it was available, you know, the first day you could uh, use it, which was I think November 1st or December 1st. Why am I blanking right now? Uh, yep, November or December 1st. That is when I started using it. And this was my pre-planning, future planning, um, more of like, I mean, it's just essentially a weekly, and so that's what I used it for. So um, it was nice, for me, it's nice to have like a weekly overview, and I love the Hobonichi week, so it's just easy for me to do it in this versus, hey, having a weekly here, because I really didn't have space for that anyways, even if I had wanted to. So um, I was really, I still love my Hobonichi Weeks, and I've been using it for years now. Um, I want to say 2018. I don't know. It's all a blur. I have to pull them out to look at them. And then I also had my Hobonichi Day Free. So this is the Day Free. And then I um, was using just a regular Hobonichi um, half or Hobonichi plain notebook, which is just a grid paper, and the grid comes in three different colors. Um, they're there are different sections of the notebook split up into three sections. And so each section has a different colored grid. So like pink, this is more of a blue and this is more of like a brownish tan color grid. So that's what I started out using. Um, and it was going really well. So like what was happening at the time from January until April, I was still going into work. Um, I was still, working at my corporate job. Um, I resigned from that job um, in April. And at that point, you could you start to see that I don't need this planner anymore. Like I was still using it, but I, I started to realize I didn't really need it. So I'm gonna do a quick flip because it is like a time capsule. It literally, I did not touch it. I took out my checks that I always keep with me in my planner and like important receipts and stuff. But otherwise, this is literally how it was when I packed it up. Um, to store it. Be, um, I think I kept it out for a month or so just because I. this is my favorite cover. <laughs> I love the cloud and I was pining after the cloud, this cloud color, this leather, um, ever since seeing the two clouds that they had made and gave away. Uh, Julio made two and they, um, they had a giveaway and two people won. One of them was Planet Char, I think. Um, and I've been pining after that cloud ever since, and that was like 2016, 2017. And so when they released this color, I just jumped on it. So um, <clears throat> it's set up very similarly to how I had it set up in my original video that I had back on January 2nd, but I actually added dailies and made it a lot more functional. So the first insert is just a year at a glance. I always love having that because that tends to be what I need to reference quite a bit, quite often. And all of my yearly inserts always have the holidays included. So um, 
All my 2022 inserts are 40% off right now. And then I am working on 2023 inserts. I am obsessed. I cannot wait to show you guys. Um, they should be released at, by the very latest at the end of September, hopefully much sooner. And then I have these. This, these are from Lucy Plans Life. Um, I was on her PR team earlier this, this year in 2022. And then these... These dividers, I want to say they're Salty 22. Salty 22 dividers. She had a baby. Um, super cute. So, And then I have a habit tracker. This is my no spend tracker, but you can use it to track anything. I did uh, dry January, so I was tracking the days that I didn't drink alcohol. And I just used fun stickers from Papershire um, to mark them off because it's like super fun to do that. And then I have... A picture of Evelyn, my babe. Um, and then I have, this is like a habit tracker for everything I was tracking. And so this is the best part of having rings is that you can pop these out and save them and archive them. And so there are certain inserts I will absolutely be saving. Um, year over year I save, I tend to save the habit trackers, um, my goal planning inserts because they give me inspiration later on when I like hit a wall and don't know kind of don't know where I want to go in terms of my goals. I can look back and see where I was. And so this is my monthly plan insert. Messed up February, so I had redid that one on a separate page. But um, again, another habit tracker. I decided to keep going with dry January, and so I did dry February. Um, just feel a lot better when I'm not drinking. And so each, this first section just is um, my monthly habit trackers and goals. So that is nice. Here's March. And I print, um, I like to print some inserts. I like to print like a floral on the back. Um, these are from you and I graphics um, on Etsy. I love her stuff, just really simple. Um, adds a little bit of flair. Again, March, April. This vellum's from Sterling and Ink. I love her subscription box. Um, it's been very much worth the money. Then I had some notes inserts. These are my uh, winter notes that I had obviously printed from 2021. So wish list and just quotes that I really liked. I can put them there. Notes from article that I read that I thought was interesting. Notes from Wills for Ville's vacation lists. Um, these are these florals are my spring florals for 2020. Let's see, yeah, spring florals for 2022. I really like those. And then see it tracking my CLE home inspection. More quotes that I liked. So yeah, and these are this is the small grid. Um, I had a lot of people ask for a really really tiny grid, and so I offered those for in the spring. And then this is my date book section, and so this is where I created this dashboard just to help me remember when the kids' school days when they had off. Um, so I printed that off along with my paid holidays, and my pay dates. This wouldn't be relevant anymore since I'm not working. And then I had a month on two page. Um, I love this, this is, helps me visualize. Typically when you get into this monthly, it starts to look really freaking crazy. So like, it's just better for me to, um, and it's fun to fill out, like to set up the month. It's so much fun, especially with some like good sticker, sticker kits. Um, but this is nice for me to be able to like, fill it out later like this would be going this monthly is being filled out in real time like as i need it whereas this is usually right before the month starts so it really helps me visualize the month and this is the last day my last um i guess my last day was the 14th because there wasn't work on the 15th so then i got the rest of 2022 in here so you can see how it would have been filled out um, you know, at some point there really wasn't much on here, um, because I really did, did fill this out and really like set it up right before the month started. And that was like just a fun thing that I always look forward to doing every month. So I had through December 
And then the second one, again, the, these, um, the vellum and the dashboard there from Lucy Plans Life. Then I had goals, had my yearly overview. And then I had lists. So this is just lists to keep my brain organized. This is my task list insert, or no, this is my today journal. You could use it as a journal or to-do list. Um, so I would just use this whenever I needed extra space. Um, again, a lot of times I wouldn't have these notebooks, so like this would be what I used, if that makes sense. So, all right, and then this is where I had my dailies. And I only kept one or two months in here at a time, so my other dailies I moved into my archive. Um, I don't have it out, it's actually packed up again because I'm my office is being renovated, so I had to uh, pack everything back up in boxes. But I, um, have plastic like PVC ring planners that are super cheap and I use those to archive my inserts. And so I did save these because I love to flip through them. Um, but these are my daily inserts and I used them pretty religiously. This is the Rosalind daily. So I have dated, um, versions in several, several sizes, but not all of them. And I did not list them in the shop. Um, I do have an undated version in the shop, so you can get this very same insert, but it's not dated um, for to use. Um, I'm still considering whether or not to offer the dated version for 2023. Uh, probably would have it start in October of this year, but I love this insert, and I do plan on using it again because that is something I wanted to share with you guys. Like I have been in a bound notebook, these two bound books, since April, essentially, and not used rings, and I really miss my rings, like bad. So um, I am setting up an A6 right now, Oops. Um, but I'm not quite finished with it. As you can see, it's pretty bare bones, but I'm trying to get it set up. I just have had like other obligations and things I've been working on. I hate feeling rushed with setup, so it's like, if I feel like I don't have a lot of time to work on it, um, I just like don't, I'm like, no, I'll do it later when I have time to like really sit down and enjoy the setup. So here we go. I'll just flip through these quickly because I wanted to show you guys. And then eventually, I think I had, this will probably tell us exactly when I stopped using this. Because it'll show, I think I stopped in the middle of April, but let's see. Um, so yeah, the way I use this is I would have the time blocking, which is nice for me to do to visualize. And then I'd have um, like really monotonous tasks over here, big priorities over here. Um, and then any notes, which tended to be quotes that I wanted to write down that I really liked. So, or I'd use stickers, but I love um, the idea of a daily, especially one on two pages when I was super busy. Um, but yeah, once I stopped working, um, or stopped working for the company I was with, I should say, because I did end up getting a second, a different job. Um, which that's a story for another time. I. Um, didn't need this. So yeah, oh my gosh, sure enough. It's starting to get, so it looks like I stopped on the 23rd or so was when I stopped using this planner. So I had the rest of April printed out. I had some trackers felt printed, but I never used them. Vehicle maintenance, home maintenance, and then I have monthly bills. This is us some plan stuff, so I'd keep track of releases, sales, just so I remembered when they were. My custom queue. Made this insert for me, so I could keep track. And then I had my office insert, which I ended up not using very much. <laughs> but I was going to use this for case management. But I didn't need to. So... Um, and then I have travel, travel plan insert because I did end up starting to travel again a little bit for work, much more than I had been in the last, obviously with COVID, but then in 2021. So that's how she was set up. You'll notice that like it really is an everyday carry. Like then it's definitely more of a date book, notebook, scheduling, tasks. Um, 
There's not a heck of a lot else in there other than like what I would call straightforward planning. Um, and then when you get to my weeks, um, what I, I can show you up through April, cause that would probably be helpful, but I have a yearly and then I have my months. I'll do like a proper flip through of this later, but I don't want to spend a ton of time flipping through it. But again, just like this is real time. So a lot of these weeks were already filled out with crap that had already been scheduled, if that makes sense. And so it's not pretty. It's, you know, I used very minimal stickers in it uh, versus last year when I used no stickers the entire year, which was kind of fun. Um, then we get into April and then that's when I went around here is when I started using this as literally like my only planner. When I say planner, I was doing nothing in my rings. Um, and this was being used mainly for journaling and notes. So, um, that is what I was using. Now, when we get to my A5, I've been using these two notebooks religiously since uh, November of 2020 one and um I actually went through here and like picked out different pages that I really like because I want to do an A5 flip and share how like my favorite pages from this book but to distill it very and I use in the same way the entire year so this is like let's just be really honest bound books are black holes it's the main reason why I hate bound books, but I have such a love affair with them because I love to write in them. It's like a repository. It's like really, it's raw right there. I love that. But I hate bound books because they can be such a black hole. And so I tried to organize it as best I could by having an index, which has proved to be amazing. <laughs> um, I have really um, needed that to have that um, index. That's really helped quite a bit. Um, but still it turns out to be a black hole. Like I'm, when I'm done with this book, it's going to go into storage. Like all these books that I have over here that are packed up. Um, and it's just, it'd be nice to have something I can like go quickly and, um, just know that, Hey, all my shop stuff's here. All my stuff about this is here. But instead it just is like in the moment, what do I need? So the A5 blank notebook, which is this, which is the, um, Wish Upon a Star by Hobonichi. It was, but it's like Yuka Hiragi. Hiragi. Um, this book, I really was notes, um, interview notes, notes from phone calls, um, just kind of like word vomit type stuff, uh, lists, random lists that I needed that I wouldn't need to reference later, all that stuff. This, what did start out as like a brain dump, kind of very similar to my Stology. Um, and I would fill this out just for fun or if I needed to kind of get an idea of what's going on. But um, what turned out, what turned into just being like a brain dump and very similar to how I use my Stology, it has turned into very much like a journal wellness. Um, and I call it my one, two, three. And I did a couple of reels on this and I've shared a couple um, just spreads but every day I do one two three which is one is gratitude I write down three or I can write down however, however many I want uh, things I'm grateful for I write three or more affirmations and then I write down small wins and then I do if I feel like I want to or need to I will do like a list of things I want to do that day um, and then I'll journal and so any blank space that I didn't use in the back I would go back and use just to journal and it wasn't something that like I needed to know exactly where it was because it really was like a journal. So this has remained unchanged. I started doing the one, two, three, I think, I don't know, I have to look. I'll, in my next, in my A5 video, I'll definitely explain, but that is her. So when I say like, I carry her with me if I'm gonna go to a coffee shop, if I'm gonna chill out, but if I'm with the kids, this, she's not coming with me. This girl stays on my desk. Um, I should mention that I started out in an A5 zip cover from Jillio. I had a purple a polka. I still I still have it. I love that. Um, I found this A5. This is a Codex A5 Codex custom in the burnt pink ostrich. This is a Vanderspeck custom. I someone else had designed her, paid for her, had her made, all that, um, and then I bought her from um, off the buy sell trade group from the original owner. And so this was like a 
I mean, I'm so happy that I found her because she's perfect. I was kind of wanting to find something different to house them in. And, you know, ostrich is so durable and I got such a steal because um, I definitely didn't pay full price for like a custom ostrich like she did. It's full quill on the outside and then it's low quill on the inside, which um, I really like too. I like, you can kind of see, oops, I have so much stuff. You can kind of see there's no quill there, which is why it's low quill. I actually think that's really cool. So that all worked out. All right, and so if you fast forward to today, like I have alluded to several times, I'm really only in these two planners. And then I have a home management binder. Um, it's a disc, disc bound from Levenger that I'm using for my home, to manage my home. Um, and so I will get to that as well. But my Hobonichi weeks, I end up adding a Stology that was cut down to the week size. So this you can go on Etsy and order one, or you can take a B6 Stology and just go to like Office Max or Staples and they will cut it down for you uh, to the dimensions that you want. So I got mine off Etsy, but just if you want to like do it yourself, I have seen or heard people use a razor um, and cut it down themselves, but I just opted to, you know, support a someone's small business and do it that way. So right now, currently my current planner system is a Hobonichi Weeks, a B6 Stology cut down to a week size. So I call it the Stalo Weeks. <laughs> um, and then I obviously have my A5 that I still am using for that journaling, that gratitude affirmations. Um, this is like my happy place. This is where I can really like, I have no limits. The pages are large. I can use as many pages as I want. And speaking of that, I have, there are 160, uh, 172 pages. Um, and I'm on page 152. So I've got about 20 pages left in the day five, day free. Um, and I actually ordered a second one because I thought I'd need two for the year, but number one, I can't find it. So I don't know what happened to, to it during the move or maybe I sold it, I can't remember or gave it away. Um, but then in my like plain notebook, a lot of these have passwords on them. Um, I numbered these. Um, so that I could obviously use the index that I, that I printed out. Um, and by the way, this index is in my shop. So it has 140 pages, just 140 pages, like front and back could be like two, 280. Um, and I am currently on, I did start kind of going from the back too. Oh my God. daughter put in her little notes. She like ran into pages. Okay. So I'm on 106 right now. So I've got a t actually have quite a few more pages left in this book, which is really nice. The Tomoe River paper, since it's so thin, it can be kind of deceptive. Like it might seem like I don't have very much, but I actually do. So that's really nice. But um, so in my Stology, I will make lists. Um, I'll also write down, I'll also journal. I'll do random quotes that I really like, um, ideas. Cause again, as an everyday carry, this is what I have with me 24 seven. Like this doesn't leave my side. In fact, a lot of times it's on my bedside table. Um, and you know, the night before, sometimes I need to just jot down random things that like, Hey, I'm not going to get to these today, but I also don't want to forget them. Um, notes for daycares. So if I had been say at my desk, I would likely be putting these daycare notes, um, in my A5, if that helps, in this notebook over here where like phone log and all that stuff is. Um, but when I see something in here and I, and I mean, if I don't remember exactly what was going on at the time, I would say that, well, it was probably, I probably wrote in this Stology because I literally was out and about and I didn't have my A5 with me. Um, but it'll have just brain dump, things going on during the day. Um, my plans for my Peloton challenges that I like to do, um, time blocking. So again, like since I don't have that daily from my rings that I had been using um, at the beginning of this year, I this is kind of where this would go if and when I need it. So just notes from interviews. I must have been out and about for that. My wish list. Um, and so yeah, 
So this is basically today and I will use fun stickers and just play around with it. And then my, um, my weeks again is very much an everyday carry. I mean, it's still being used essentially the same way as it was before, but I'm just relying on it like very, very heavily. <laughs> so this is my, um, this is my week this week. Um, and so we had demo start and I started using stamps again, which is really fun. I wish this matched this pink it really irritates me, but I didn't think about it before I used the highlighter. So yeah, I hope that is helpful. Um, it's weird not using rings, but I do also want to show you guys my home management binder, even though I can't show you a ton because like a lot of it has like my address and stuff on it. So let me go grab that. Okay. I am back. So this is my home management binder. It's a disbound planner. It's from Levenger. Um, I actually just bought and got in um, larger rings because I like quickly <laughs> outgrew this. But the reason why I set this up was I started realizing after we moved in, we moved in June 30th, that very quickly <laughs> I was um, having just like a stack of random receipts and information on the home and um, what filters we needed for X, Y, and Z and the pool and all this stuff. And so that's when I realized, well, I can just take this stuff, these random like receipts, and I can um, hole punch or disc punch them. So I did buy a Levenger disc punch. It works better with their discs. Um, if you have like a tool, which is like the Office Depot disc bound, then you can use their hole punch or disc, disc punch it. It works just fine. But then I also, so I can just disc punch them and slide it in because this is a half letter. This is their junior size. Um, they also have like, I think a full letter one, letter size. I didn't look into that one, but so I can fold a regular letter size sheet of paper. So I have like Liam's daycares, closing. I have his meals like his lunch menu, they actually have it all like pre-planned, which is crazy to me. Um, his schedule for Boy Scouts, soccer, all that. I have uh, extra notes pages. This is my summer of 2022 florals in the half letter. So I did use those, some of those notes. Then in this section I have, um, I need to fill this out, but I have receipts from when we had an HVAC looked at, when we had an electrician come out. Um, our The original owners left us like a manual for the house, which is really nice. Um, planning out re renovations. So I've got the renovation mock-ups here. Um, then I've got just more stuff back here. This is Liam's scores for like he had his first assessment here at his new school. So that's been kind of fun. Um, and the back is like, passwords and so forth that we need to remember. And so I can't show you guys all of this, but budgeting, all that. And so this can sit on my desk and like, oh, what, I don't know, what soccer field are we on for this game? I can just run to this. And so this is a sneak sneak of my month on one page, you know, half letter, but it'll be in all the other sizes. Um, I did slide these in here because I wanna use these for 2023. Um, and I did kind of sneak a home management insert that I had. That I've done. I'm not sure if I'll list these or not, um, but I just wanted something different. And this is like my fun thing is designing inserts. So, um, so yeah, that is that. So when I, I think a lot of people are like, how are, how do you use several different planners? Um, and you know, there's traditional planning. There's a traditional thing. Um, when you think of planning traditionally, you think it's a calendar and that's that. And I, when I think about that, that is my Hobonichi Weeks, um, this bad boy right here. Um, and I should mention, because I know I've gotten a lot of questions, this is a Louis Vuitton notebook cover. This um, is was a cover that was only released in Japan, and it's very rare. I only, I've seen it a few times um, on Mercari or Poshmark, Poshmark. <laughs> Um, but my friend Elle actually sold it to me. Um, I, she had gotten it used, used as in like it's in perfect condition, but she had bought it from like Poshmark or something, a reseller, rebag, and then I bought it from her. Um, I can post the details I do know about it. It's like Rose Ballerine Imprinte. 
Um, it fits a B6 Slim the best. Like it would be better if it if I had a B6 Slim in here. Um, but obviously I don't. I have the the Weeks, which is a little bit narrower. Um, about maybe like a quarter inch or so, half an inch, no, quarter inch. Um, more narrow than a B6 Slim. That's what would fit perfect in here. And so I do have a B6 Slim Stology, so a B6 Stology cut down to a Slim. Um, I do have that if and when I want to use it for that, but I'll probably be in this cover for a month or two maybe, and then I really want to use my undyed for fall. Like when it really starts feeling like fall, I'll switch to my undyed Vanderspeck cover for the Hobonichi Weeks. Um, but anyhow, when I think of traditional planning, like if I was going to go to Target right now and buy like a run-of-the-mill planner from Target, like Blue Sky or something, um, and just that would be my planner, that's what I would think. But there's just so much more to my life. There's so much more that I like to plan ahead and my goal planning and my, you know, self-reflection and self-care that that's when the A5 comes in. And then of course with my home and just taking on all of the stuff with this new home, um, it's definitely a lot more involved <laughs> than our prior house. It's kind of crazy. Um, that's what this is for. And so then I can just have it all in one spot. I would not be able to fit it all, especially the receipts and crap um, and keeping track of like regular maintenance and the pool and figuring out just the sound system and having like figuring out, putting it all in one spot so I can reference it. It wouldn't fit in it and my even a rings anyways. And it wouldn't be functional because I you can't hole punch. It's much easier to be able to hole punch um, a letter sized piece of paper and just fold it. Which is super nice. So, recap. I started out the year in these three. I love them. I miss the rings a lot. My life changed drastically around April. Um, and even though I did take a new job that I later resigned from <laughs> because of some wildly crazy issues that that place had, um, I didn't need necessarily the daily play like I did before because a lot of it was onboarding and so forth and really at that point my life got crazy because then we were packing and moving and all that jazz so I put this aside literally um it's a time capsule it is nothing really was taken out um in terms of like the actual inserts and then I just relied heavily on my H uh, my Hobonichi weeks and I added the B6 Stology in the week size. Um, what was that? June-ish? June, July-ish? Don't quote me. Um, and then I've been in this girl, these two ladies, <laughs> ever since. So um, ever since the beginning of the year. I'm using them the same way. Just um, it's like I wake up and I get excited about having the time to fill, you know, fill this out every day. So please, 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 please let me know if you guys have any questions. I try to be thorough, um, you know, now I am going to be f f um, setting up an A6 rings. I am hoping that I, oh gosh, I found something on it. Um, I am hoping that I get this set up pretty soon, but then I'm also like having issues. I always do this where like, I really love the idea of an A6, you guys, but I think it's too small. Oh, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we'll see what ends up happening. If I don't end up using it, maybe I'll give it away or something because it's all set up all pretty. Um, not give it away, but I'd have to sell it. This mulberry was really, really expensive. It's the perfect color and it's gold. I mean, how beautiful is this? So I don't know. I am getting excited about it just talking. So maybe I just need to switch out the inserts or add some more deco in it. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know if you have questions. And I will be back next time with the next video. Um, I'll have to see what I want to do next. So I'll look at your guys' votes and decide. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.